my lyrics, my vision, my decision, my brain, my pain. Free of the realest man in the grime game. This is my life, my lyrics, my vision, my decision, my brain, my pain. <laughs> Living in war, gotta break through sound from my heart and my vision is pure. This ain't shit you can sit and ignore, real shit got these times listening more. Four years ago my dad got locked, how long am I gonna have to visit him for? I don't wanna be separated no longer, I wish I could visit him more. Thinking about when I was a youth and I never knew that shit was this raw. Thinking about if I was there when Sham got stabbed and what's hitting that floor. Thinking about how my mom feels when friends come to my yard. Thinking the door, thinking about how easy it is on road just to tell the bricks on the poor. Thinking about that shit, got me thinking, why the fuck should I stick to the law? Violate me, get licked in the jaw. Wanna take me for a trick, you sure? I doubt that, mate. I'm about that, mate. I'm this new boy without that, mate. Realist nigga, that's out damn straight. Too real, good don't know what's out that, mate. 20th of September, 2012. A young boy at the name of Kyle Shaheenan, also known as Shams, was fatally murdered in a Birmingham area. A year later, Kyle's mother threw a memorial and a fundraiser in remembrance of his death in order to raise money for his headstone. That day of the memorial, 20th September 2013, performing that night a track he had made as a tribute for Kyle. The 18 year old rapper Joshua Ribera, formerly known as Depps from the Mosley and Kings Eve area, attended the memorial as he was a close friend of Kyle's. He was born 10th of August 95, and I remember he was very long and very hyperactive as a newborn baby because he was looking at me and staring at me. My relationship with Depth Man was more like um, a brother. Knew, knew him from like primary school, year two, grew up with him. Met him through music, became closer, saw him as a little brother at the end of it. He started off by using a local studio in a youth centre called 641 in the Selly Oak area of Birmingham. He started on the drums, you know, the drum kit. Um, just used to play different instruments and then started doing the spitting and everything when he was about nine. We had a lot of songs in there, six four one studios. A lot of songs. We had to be 14 to come to the youth centre and it's our youth centre was a little tired and then we used to give him a little blow. I always thought he was special and also there was something about him. He had a lot of charisma. That was from a couple of years old but talent to um, with the music that he got into, he was probably about 12. He then started to work with Silence TV, recording freestyle videos, then featured in both Silence, the founder of Silence TV and Depps' first official hood video. In terms of being involved with, um, with Depps', like the whole movement in general, in terms of his music and like, the different kicks that he had developing through music, I was quite heavily involved in his come up, if you call it, around Birmingham through Silence TV. He then took this further by recording for a more well known channel called Grindblog, clashing an older, more experienced grime artist in Birmingham called Socks. And then when he sent for Socks when he was 14, that's when I really noticed that even though I thought he was good, other people were saying he was good as well. The first video that I've seen him in, the first video. First video that I've seen him in Grime Blog, however, however long ago that was, I think, yeah, when he was 13, whatever, when they were spelling depths with an S. Um, I remember seeing him on YouTube back in the day, but the first thing I saw him do was him for socks. That's the first thing that made me notice him. Yeah, I think it was that on Grime Blog. I think my favourite would probably have to be his one that he hates the most, and that's the, the Grime Blog when he first sent for socks. It's going back ways, like, if he was around from the day you'd know about that song, but yeah man, to me that was a favourite one man. Some of the, the lyrics he was dropping back then and he was like young then, he was what, 14? Like, to be hitting lyrics like that. Depth's name and reputation started to blossom. 
I think he realised he had a talent and he was good at it. So a lot of positive feedback and that kept him going. And then he realised not to depend on other people's opinions. He knew at that point that he was good. After he overcame certain hurdles in his life, Depps decided to pull all of this into music. I think the hardest part was not knowing how long it would be because it was he was convicted for something he hadn't done, it was overturned. So six weeks it was, was long enough for him to realise he didn't want that life, but short enough so that he could come out the other end without really being affected. In the mid-2011, he joined the grime team called Invasion Alert. I don't know who discovered him. Hitman brought him to my attention fully, and then, but he'd clash Socks, so that was where the barrier was. So Socks was already in invasion. So man wanted him in there, but so I went. I spoke to Socks, sorted it with Socks, took Josh up London, and then when we went London, we announced it on radio. After joining them, Depps's career started to take off drastically travelling to different countries to record music videos, performing on stage in various UK arenas. Also featuring on the UK's most known grime channel, Jamal Edwards, SBTV, whilst on holiday in Ibiza. He also took part in a UK grime clash on London's MC's Jammers, Lord of the Mics, Battle for. He then realised the impact and the seriousness of his talents and released an album for his fans on the 27th of July 2013 which goes by the name of Depsman Too Real. Just a few hours before he went to the event I spoke to him and he's saying that he got his um he just got his first payment from Too Real from the pre-orders and he was telling me on the phone how much he'd made and I was like, no way fam, like, I'm proud of you at all. I got to tell him I was proud of him, congratulated him, my mum congr congratulated him because I told her because I was sitting with my mum and we just left on good terms. Basically, he started off here, no one knew about him, you get me? Back in the day, spitting on the 50 and that, man hit this peak. Then when he got involved with Silence TV and that, he's up here, do you get me? And then he's going abroad. That's a completely different game plan to all the other guys in the ends. And look how young he was. And that was just from a short burst. So during that over a long period of time, it would have been up there, man. Up there, 110%. They've seen him grow up on YouTube and then release the album. I don't think he would have realised just how many people watched him and followed him and listened to him. That night of the fundraiser at TC's, Armani Mitchell got into blows with Joshua over a female. This incident occurred a second time leading to a scuffle inside which resulted in Mitchell getting thrown out. But later Mitchell came back after changing his clothes. This incident occurred a second time. Depps was instructed by friends to sort this out outside the club. Depps left the club with himself with the intentions to solve the problem. He was followed by Mitchell and others until they came to a standstill when Mitchell fatally stabbed Depps in the heart. Back then they didn't want to know fam now we sight say they have to Back then man couldn't get a show fam Now in one day I'll have to I'm a blow in this thing, yeah I have to Make my mum proud and my dad too Gotta to stay on the straight and narrow Car one day I'm gonna be a dad too One love to all of my family Can't forget my granddad too Been supporting me from the start Ail him off yeah I had to And the man them already know that If you got my back then I'll back you You get out what you put in So family to put in the work I'm glad to Stop time wasting and started learning Stop waiting and started working one love to the man in my circle, we're gonna make it, yeah that's for certain One love to the haters pushing me to pick up the mic and keep working One love to the industry people that try block man but it ain't working Stop time wasting and started learning, stop waiting and started working One love to the man in my circle, we're gonna make it, yeah that's for certain One love to the haters pushing me to pick up the mic and keep working One love to the industry people that try block man but it ain't working